The Flyers, two huge wins to come back from the All-Star break. A win against the Jets tonight at home, 4-1 to at the Wells Fargo Center. Welcome to Post Game Live, presented by Curado Insurance. Ashlyn Sullivan, Al Morgani here with you. The Flyers look like they're back to their early January selves before that losing streak. What's been the most impressive thing, Al? It was different ways. Kind of weird, isn't it, Ashlyn? The last game, they were terrible in the first period and then kind of came back and really, really put on a real great performance in the last two periods. This, tonight... They were terrific in the first period. Just came out with all sorts of energy, hits. Uh, they were all over Winnipeg. And I don't want to say held on, but they didn't overwhelm in those next two. But they played well enough. But overall, Konechny playing like an all-star. Sam Harrison just terrific mm -hmm. in, in, in goal. And, and just the roles that people are playing right now. Coming in fair beast, uh, really strong game. Uh, you, you had Hathaway hit after hit after hit. So I think it was that overall effort. I, I guess you, if you want to pick it apart, oh, after that second and third period, they, didn't, they weren't as aggressive. But they had a lead and they didn't collapse on it. And the goaltender was terrific all night. Yes, he was. And John Tortorella, he told his team before this game to go out, pray free, play free, and get a lead. That's exactly what they did. And what's been most impressive, I think, for the Flyers the past two games is we always put the pressure on Travis Konechny, Owen to pitch a score goal tonight. Tyson Forrester, Frost, Paling, Travis Konechny as well. Konechny as well, yeah. And, and, and the game, the goals weren't, they weren't pretty, but it was a case of, I, I said it earlier, the harder you work, the luckier I get. But when you come in and you have pressure throughout that zone and then you get the bounces because you're there in front of their goaltender and you take advantage of it. And they were willing to go to those, those spots in that first period and they just kept coming at them. I, I like the fact that they came into this game. They want to set some sort of tone at home where they haven't been the greatest. They want that home ice to, to be a, an advantage again. We were out there with the crowd for a Winnipeg that doesn't, you know, it's not a, a, a natural rival, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Loud uh, because there was some, some hitting in the game. There was uh, a fight with, with Konechny, so it really get them into it, and I really think it is important for this team to get that feeling of what it's like to have that big crowd behind you in Philadelphia. 100%. I was down there for that Travis Konechny fight, and when he took him to the ground, it basically sounded like the Flyers scored a goal. It was really loud, and we got to talk about Travis Konechny. He is our Yingling Presents logger up. He was insanely busy in the first period. What more could you want from TK in one period, Al? No, the Gordy Howe hat trick. I mean, and, and it was, the to me, the perfect sequence. It starts here. didn't like Pionk, but he did there defensively and then watch they both dropped the gloves no hesitation either way so I guess we got I just call it a middleweight boat here go in you grab you gotta be strong enough to grab under that jersey to make sure you don't take that that punch don't let that don't let that gun get loose there but then come in he's gonna hang with him then he gets on that's why he had the big rob or chair from the crowd and then this one here this is insult to injury because I believe it goes off Pionk <laughs> when Konechny takes that shot and there he is celebrating that so he's got the fight he's got the goal and you know what else do you need well well, if you're going to really get that, Gordy Howe, you're also going to have to have an assist. So Frost comes in, sends it back across. Konechny started that thing. There's, there's Forster right there in front. And then there's that Konechny, that shot that goes off there. And there's Frost celebrating. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you, you know, you see a Gordy Howe in the first period for, from your All-Star mm -hmm. to come in. And, you know, he slipped a bit before the All-Star game. The Flyers played so many games. It looked like they kind of running out of gas before the All-Star break. And now you see come back energized. And a lot of guys, when you come back from that All-Star game, you, you just get a confidence. You're, you're with the best in the league, and he really played this game with, I guess uh, Tortorella calls it a swagger. Yes, and i got to think of this is all because of your pregame interview talking <laughs> Justin Bieber, he knows. But now he is with J.J. Mboosh standing by. Ashland. Travis Konecti, another big night for TK. And TK, when you talk about this game, how important was the, the quick start, getting the jump on this team? They're really good when they have the lead. Yeah, we uh, we talked about it before the game, just trying to get a lead at home, and you know we haven't done that many times. We're usually clawing back, and uh, we did a good job of uh, you know getting right on them. You, you were feisty right from the, the start in this game. Picked up your first fight of the season, uh, Gordy Howe hat trick. Uh, w w you know what precipitated all that? I mean, it seemed like you you wanted to get into it right away. Yeah, I think I mean he gave me a jab and I didn't like it and. I mean, I, I kind of felt weird off the, the start of the game there, so I was just trying to find something. <laughs> Gordy Al hat trick. Come on, you got to get something for that, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I got if you watch the goal and the assist, they're pretty lucky, but I'll take it. <laughs> but you, you mentioned it about the home ice play. You guys just getting to hockey 500 with a win here tonight. How important is that? What do you think the difference has been? You guys have been one of the best teams in the NHL on the road. I don't know. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to find that right now and figure it out, but I think it's just... Uh, 
you know, maybe we get amped up at home expecting to play a different way. And, um, you know, today it just shows, you know, it wasn't our prettiest game uh, by any means, but we just found a way to win. You certainly did. DK, thanks for taking time out to talk with us. Congrats on the victory. Thanks, guys. So Travis Konechny was just kind of feeling weird. He's like, I need to fight. <laughs> I guess, well, I hope he feels weird for a lot of games if he's going to play like that. And, you know, he's, he kind of dismissed it as they got some breaks. But like I said before, they got breaks because they really pressed the play. That's when you get breaks, when you go in and you do things like that, where you get a team on its heels, you take the shot. So, I mean, you can say, well, we got a break here and there. But they made a lot of those breaks in that first period. Yes, they did. And whatever is working for Travis Konechny, <laughs> keep it going, weird or not. Stay with us here post game live, presented by Curado Insurance. The Flyers, they win this game 4-1 to one over the Winnipeg Jets. You got much more coming coming up here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Flyers Post Game Live is presented by Cure Auto Insurance. See how much you can save at cure.com.